Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Skull video, and of course I am back with an updated version of one of my most popular videos on YouTube on my Skull channel. I have no idea how this tutorial got so popular, it reached over 100,000 views pretty recently, like in the last few months, and of course I'm here to make like an updated version. That video was two years ago, so obviously some things are different, but really the way to do it hasn't really changed, so we're just gonna go over it again. If you guys go into your watch in-game or in rec room and you guys are just inside your home menu if you decide to go to settings and then you are in controls and go to change control scheme you'll see that we have a new control scheme now in my last video we talked about default and classic control schemes but now we have this alternate control scheme as well it basically is just a variation of default with e to interact q to drop slash exit and f and g to wave and by the way i'm using you know pc and mouse so it's all combined to PC and mouse keybinds, by the way. Take a good hard look at all the things that you guys can do. This is just a new control scheme that came out in these past two years that Requiem has been a thing, of course. Now the way these control schemes are is that classic is older than default and default is older than alternate, so alternate is our newest. In case you guys haven't seen my last video where I talked about default and classic, default is quote unquote the best way to play Rec Room. For classic control schemes, it's ambidextrous with trigger slash click to interact with each hand. This does not include new features like swap equipment shortcuts or dedicated reload buttons. Now of course the UI has changed massively since my video two years ago and of course this was my updated version of my video showing you guys how to change your control scheme. Of course, I really hope that this video was as helpful as my other one was back two years ago, but of course, that's pretty much been it for this entire video. Be sure to use my code in game, and of course, I'll see you in the next one.